Greetings and welcome to another module in connectivity training. This module we're going to look at Intercom 5, which is often called IC5. In this module, we'll demystify IC5, show how easy it is to use, show how its packets are constructed, and we'll look at some different types of packets. It is assumed that you know about comms. If you would like to look at any of the previous modules on comms, they are all available. It is also assumed that you can connect to a printer and a controller together, and you are fluent in the hexadecimal numbering system. IC5 is available on the AX inkjet printers only. It's only available via Ethernet TCP IP on port 790, and that cannot be changed. Let's look at the packet construction. This is easy. It starts with a packet type, has a packet number, has a command, and has a payload. The packet type is one byte, packet number is one byte, the command is two bytes, and the payload can be from zero to NN depending on the command. Let's look at the packet types we can have. We can have a get. So for a get, my packet will start with 04. I send 04 to the printer. The printer will reply with a packet starting 05. It's a reply to the get. There's a set. I would send 06 to set something, and the printer would reply with an 09. I want to activate a feature. This is do a, a, an activity. So I ask the printer to carry out an activity for me. And this I start with an 07, and the reply to the activate from the printer will be an 08. Packets are asynchronous, which means you can send and receive them in any order as there is a packet number that ties up the sends and receives. So let's look more at this packet number. This is one of the big improvements that IC5 has over the older IC0 protocol. The second byte is the packet number. This allows you to send many commands to the printer asynchronously and then watch the replies and tie the reply to the command you sent. Here is a bit of communications we look at. So we sent a packet 51. We got a reply to packet 51. We sent packet 52 and immediately sent packet 53 without waiting for any reply. Due to the network, the printer, who knows, we got a reply to packet 53 first and then we got the reply to packet 52. So this is no problem because we can tie up all the information here via the packet number. The range of the packet numbers is 00, zero to FF, and then it goes back to 00. zero. There is no check made in the printer to make sure that they are consecutive packets. That is for the user to decide. Let's have a look at some of the Intercom 5 commands. All commands are two bytes. Careful, the same command may be used for more than one activity. And this is just an example we're showing here. For instance, we might have get the ink temperature and the command 034A. The same command may be used to activate the pump. This is where we look at the packet type. So the packet type for the get would be 04, the packet type for the activate would be 07. Let's look at the payload. Payloads can vary in size depending on the command. Some common items that you will find in the payload are things like head number. We only have one. Number of items to follow. For instance, how many counters in a label? If your label has five counters, I'll say there are five sets of data to follow. How many bytes to follow? So in each of those sets of data that's going to follow, the first set of bytes will tell me how many bytes in that set of data. Be careful of the decimal conversion to floating point hexadecimal numbers. You want to set 
the stroke pitch. Stroke pitch might be set to 0.31 millimeters. You need to convert 0.31 into a floating point hexadecimal number. In the tool shed, we do have a converter app that I made, and you're welcome to download and use that. If you've got your own method, please use your own method. Details of the full comms commands and payloads can be found in the protocol documentation for IC5. Let's have a look at an IC5 get example. So we need to get a list of the active events. These also include the alerts and stuff. So the command here we look up is 0FA0. And we see that to get the list of active events, it's going to be a list of, we send a packet type, we send a packet number and a command. So we sent a four, we know the reply is going to be a five and the packet number OA with the command and we'll see what comes back. So we send that over and back comes 05, 0A, the command 0FA0. And the first byte tells us there are nine items to follow and each of these nine items is a structure and in these structures we have the following set of bytes. And remember there are nine of these because it's told us at the moment there are nine active alerts. Let's have a look at the set example. So we want to set the clock time and date. That's 0 B D 1. So to set it, we have a packet type 42, command 0 B D 1, and we look in the protocol document and it shows that we send the following structure. The year followed by the month, the day, the hour, the minutes, the second. So we send that over to the printer because this is an 06, we'll get an 09 reply. So the 09 reply, we look for the packet number, it equals the same as this, so that's good. We've got the command and the response is 00. And if we looked up the responses, they would say it was a success. So let's look at an activate example. So we want to create an Uber log. So when we send this command, the printer will save an Uber log to its SD card storage, and we might get that off later and have a look through it. It will never delete that and until it's filled up its storage. So the command is 0AF3. This command has no payload because this is an activate, it's a do activity. We start with an 07. The packet number here is 26, the command 0AF3. We send that to the printer. And the printer replies to us a 0826. The packet number ties up, so we know that's the reply to that packet. 0AF3, and the payload is 00, which means I've carried out your wishes. I do hope you enjoyed the Intercom 5 module, see how easy Intercom 5 is and look forward to talking to you about some other protocols in the future.